So for me, Wes Anderson is 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 really a. Com I have a complicated affair with Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Yes, <laughs> because I mean he. There's this weird area in my brain that is so tired of seeing that cutesy bullshit that he keeps making. But then again, every time I see a movie from him, I'm like, oh yeah, it's actually pretty good. I actually kind of like the cutie stuff also. <laughs> but then in the intermediary time, after this movie and before the next movie, I entered into this zone of um, Anderson hate, yeah. as I like to call it, where I just keep thinking the same thoughts about, oh God, that cutie, cutie <laughs> bullshit. And when I saw the trailer for The Isle of Dogs, I was like, oh God, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. No more. <laughs> because I mean... All these talking puppets and these cute suits and uh... dogs love those. We'll find him wherever he is. If he's alive, we'll find your dog. Just everything about it made this part of my brain scream. Yeah. Like, but um, it apparently he has done it again and it's a good movie <laughs> yeah, yeah um i didn't see the last i didn't see fantastic mr fox mm, i really uh, liked it i i haven't i haven't seen it yet at mm. all um so a wes anderson animation was a new thing for mm. me um i've got i've got huge amounts of respect for anderson because I think that there are few directors today that can be sort of considered to be true auteurs yeah. that have their own signature style mm. and not get... I mean, I understand why you're saying that it, it gets sort of old and tired and boring mm. because you know... I mean, Wes Anderson making a Bond movie, for example, would be just... It would be a complete disaster in a way mm. it would be a complete disaster because i don't think that he can make movies any other way that he does probably not no um and he doesn't want to but i have a huge respect for him because he is so 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 meticulous about mm. every single detail he's so concerned about the aesthetics of film mm. and he has a complete vision mm. for each of his films for example, for Moonrise Kingdom, which I didn't like at all. Mm. Moonlight Kingdom? Moonrise, Moonrise, yeah. Moonrise Kingdom. I didn't like it at all because for me that was like the generic the generic Wes Anderson movie. Mm. It was like a, I'd seen this movie before. There's all the cutesy stuff. There's the kids. There's the... Uh, and then there's the scouts. And, mm. and, and then there's... Uh, running away and and difficult relationships with your parents mm. and difficult relationships uh, among the parents and then everybody's a bit funny and everybody's a bit weird and everybody's mm. this and that and for me that was that movie just hit me at a bad time I, mm. when i went to see it i haven't seen it since and i think that i should see it again to see if i've changed my mind but for me that was the quintessential wes anderson movie being a wes anderson movie mm. Like, I just couldn't get on board with that. But with everything else he's done, I think that it's everything else that he's done that I've seen has been really, really good. Mm. I love the Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah. And I love, um, I, I really like Darjeeling Limited. Mm. I love Steve Zissou. Mm. Um, and I think that this was, again, he created something different for me. Mm. He was hugely, it just showed that he'd, he'd watched so much Japanese animation and, and, and created this whole uh, pseudo-Japanese environment, mm. which was, again, just a completely uh, thought-out process from the be beginning to the end. Some of the characters only speak in Japanese. Sometimes you understand it, sometimes you don't. Mm. 
and it, it was it was just it, so well made yeah. and it was funny like mm. they always are yeah. they're always funny um and i like dogs so you know mm. that's that's another another thing yeah. but i i think that i i really really liked it mm. i i think that if you're looking for exact again if you're looking for a um a sort of a complete stylistic experience that you're going to have fun with uh i think it's it's well worth watching yeah. um but i do agree that if you don't like wes anderson if you don't like his style this is not going to be anything that's going to change your mind mm. it's not going to be like wow this guy is wow i hadn't realized that this guy is this guy because mm. every wes anderson movie that you're going to see there's going to be that same underlying sense of quirkiness and and aesthetics and the music mm. and the way they shot the way the the dialogue is mm. written uh you're not going to get away from that yeah. and i don't think that he's ever going to get it, it'll be it, i think that it's going to be interesting if he's ever if he ever has to make a sort of a straight film mm. like take him completely out of his element and make a, a a straight film how weird that movie would be mm. to see it's it like making it's it's like it is like making like making like the coens do a james bond movie mm. or a transformers movie yeah. or something like that it would be it would be really odd and i don't think that there's any sense in actually doing that because if you have that if you have a vision that that's that that is that strong mm. and nobody can in, pr basically imitate it why why would you want to do something else yeah and the thing is that it it one would expect that it gets old after a while yeah but weirdly enough it really doesn't yeah i mean it's i mean that's the thing that i i think i'm always reacting to the the basic dilemma that is that it's as you pointed out, that it's always the same elements at work, but somehow he gets away with it because the something about the story is he is able to reinvent the Wes Anderson movie every time. Yeah. No way. Yeah. 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 It, it is. It is really weird. I. I. I if I, because at some point I thought that I'd, I'd be interesting in sort of interested in making films or, or being part of filmmaking and mm. so on that that never came to anything but there's certain if you see certain kinds of movies you tend to think well i could do that better mm. i could write that better yeah. i don't ever think that with wes, wes yeah. anderson films i ha i i would have none of the skill set to create that complete of a vision yeah. with anything i think it, it is so so meticulous, and he I I think he must be a really 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 weird character. In I mean, actually, just yeah. uh, what happens inside his mind is is just it's just weird. It is, and because even the uh, even the laughs in a lot of his films are not really conventional laughs; mm. they're created out of sort of awkward situations, and and I I don't think that he he very rarely takes the easy way out. Mm. when he's constructing a scene. Yeah. I think that he sometimes take the, takes the easy way out compared to himself. Mm. I think that happened in, in Moonrise Kingdom, that there mm. were a lot of things that I, th I thought that, well, this is a so, such a typical Wes Anderson thing to do mm. that it gets a bit boring. Yeah. But compared to anybody else, in terms of creating a, like a cheap laugh out of an audience, for yeah. example, I don't think that he ever really does that. There's always something a bit... There's something a bit extra, and you have to sort of realize why is this funny. And sometimes it isn't funny, mm. but it still makes you sort of think that this is an interest. In, it's an interesting way to try to make people laugh. Yeah, it really is. It, it is like an. It is an artist yeah. making movies. Yeah, it is interesting. Yeah, so, like I said, haven't seen Fantastic Mr. Fox, um, but in terms of a Wes Anderson animation really well made i thought really funny really really meticulously crafted um and i i just i have a hard time not recommending wes anderson films to people 
apart from the fact that I don't think that if you wanna, if you'd binge watch like all the mm. Wes Anderson movies in one day, that would probably kill you. But, no. but killed by the cuteness of it all. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute, cute. No, not a bad way to go. Anyway.